What's up guys? Today we are talking about getting thousands of different sounds on your electric or acoustic guitar without using a single pedal. Pedals are really cool, don't get me wrong, but personally I've never gotten into them too much because you have to buy all of them so it gets pretty expensive pretty quickly and then you gotta put it all together. It's a lot more of a hassle if you're not playing live that often, which I don't do that often these days. And it's much easier when you're recording, just throw it in your software, use some digital effects that sound really good and bam, you're done. So I'm gonna start by saying that this video isn't targeted towards professionals that are playing on stage night after night, but more amateurs and hobbyists that really wanna get more into guitar sounds so that they can make their playing sound a lot cooler without spending thousands of dollars on amps, cables, gear, pedals, and all that extra stuff. So over the years, I've used lots of different digital effects apps, and probably one of the best apps to do this is Depth Like Guitar Effects. They specialize in making an app that you can use on any device, and you can link together different professional sounding amps and pedals to create an entire guitar chain for all your different effects. They've got thousands of different sounds you can make just in a single app, and it's basically just plop in an effect, see how it sounds, tweak a few knobs, and boom! You've got a crazy cool new sound for either your acoustic or electric guitar. And yes, that's right, there are lots of acoustic effects that sound really good for acoustic guitar that you can add on to your acoustic playing to make that sound a lot more interesting. Now, there are lots of digital effects apps. The cool thing about Depth Like specifically is that you can use it on all devices. So you can make a really crispy, cool tone on your computer, and then you can just save that preset and use it directly on your iPhone or your tablet or whatever to take it on the go with you. All right, so let's dive into it. I've got my guitar plugged in right here. You can see that I've opened up FL Studio, which is the software that I use for all my audio editing and recording. I've just got this microphone right here hooked up to this to record my speech, and then my guitar is plugged in. All right, so let's open up Deplike, which is the main thing that we're gonna be using here today. Got this open, and you can see when you open it, you got nothing, clean blank state. Let's go and add some gear. So starting off, you've got a bunch of different amps and those are just gonna subtly impact your tone to get more of a sound. They're all modeled after real professional amps so they should really help you go after a specific sound that you're trying to get. We're just gonna experiment and play around and see what we end up with here. So I am going to start with Crafter will take you to a journey where crunchy tones will blow your mind. All right, let's get our minds blown. So there you go. And you can already hear how it's subtly different than it was beforehand. Just a slightly different tone, but then you can modify it with all your different settings. So I'm thinking I'm going for something warmer and smoother. So let's up my mids, which will give me more of that mid-range warmness, and then drop down my treble just slightly so it's not as harsh and punchy. And then right there. All right, we've got a little bit of a warmer tone already. Um, want a little bit more volume, don't want to get any quieter. Cool. All right, that sounds pretty smooth to me. So, moving on, then let's try out some pedals. Uh, reverb is always a good place to start. Super reverb sounds that made the original legend among guitarists everywhere. All right, let's try this out. Cool. Okay, it's got a nice spacey design. I like that. So, just so you can really see the difference, I'm going to pump all these knobs up to full. And... You can see how you've got a really full ambient sound that sounds like your guitar is like in the middle of a huge stadium or a giant hall and it's like a hundred feet back. So that's a bit aggressive because you know you can't actually make out the guitar too clearly. So let's turn these way down and then to just a little bit above half. I'm just experimenting with this as I go. Cool. Okay. That gives a little bit of life to it versus nothing. It's a very just straight and dead sound versus immediately with a little reverb. It feels like there's a little more life to it. I'm gonna up this mix just a little bit more and that's probably good enough for now. Cool, all right, that's already sounding a lot more interesting. So let's move on and see what else we can do here. Add some more pedals to our stack. Okay, so here's another good thing. So uh, just a simple compressor, I'm guessing this is. And a compressor basically in simple terms just makes your loud notes quieter and your quiet notes louder to kind of balance out your sound so that everything's more even and you're just gonna sound more professional. So in case you do happen to hit a, a bit of a dud note, it'll level that out. It's gonna be really loud, I think, so I'm going to turn down the gain here. 
All right, and you might not be able to hear it too much, but it just makes a subtle difference that does sound smoother already. It's kind of what it ends up doing. The attack is how quickly it starts, and you're never going to want that at zero. Otherwise, you're not going to get any presence to your tone. Uh, it's not really going to be very, like, you know, crisp, but a little bit of attack, and then you just kind of play around with the knobs. Um... <laughs> until things start to sound pretty nice. And you know, this is a whole another video in itself of what all these do, but we're just playing around with things for today. And you know what, that sounds pretty decent to me, so I'm not gonna do too much more with that. Okay, let's try and get something funky here. Flangem X, okay, this has got a very Eddie Van Halen signature design. Gives you classic flanger spacey trippy madness. All right, let's get spacey here. Um, I'm gonna put this before my reverb, usually you want the reverb at the end because it's going to kind of muffle and make the sound bigger. So you kind of want to do most of your other stuff before that so you don't end up with a really, really muddy sound. All right. Oh, okay. All right, so just with that as how it's originally set, that's pretty nice. So I'm pretty happy with that. That's actually sounding pretty good. And you can see how just in a very short period of time, we've managed to make an entire cool guitar tone. So you can see how very quickly we're here, whereas originally, It's very plain and boring and bland, and you just throw in a few effects and then suddenly you've got this much more interesting sound, even if you're just playing a few simple chords. So I'm actually pretty happy with this step. So I'm pretty happy with that tone, and I'd probably just about leave it there. And it's just a few effects, but you know, you don't need it to be too complicated to get a pretty interesting sound. Now in the end, art is always going to be subjective. Yes, there are rules that will make things technically sound clearer or fuller or whatever, but what sounds good to you might not sound good to someone else and vice versa, but both are equally incredible. If it sounds good to you, it is good. In the end, just experiment and remember that you want to learn the rules to use the tools, but then break them wherever it feels right. So then you can see how really easily We've got this tone right here, and say we wanted to try something that's more of a background rhythm kind of thing, and if we wanted to try and make kind of a lead tone, let's see what we can do here. So I'm going to open this preset 2, preset 1 is saved, and you'll be able to use this on your phone. It's going to look exactly the same, which is really cool because you save the preset, and then it works across all your devices with the same login. So just with a single click, you can get a new sound. So let's try and add something a little bit more... Uh, lead kind of thing. Okay, go into some distortion, and... Okay, OD808, let's see how this goes. Alright, you've got some distortion right there, it's a little quiet, let's make that louder. Cool. Very classic. Very classic, uh, crunchy kind of tone. Let's add in a phase shifter, maybe put that beforehand. We're getting pretty funky just with that. Cool. All right, so that is looking, sounding still a little bit bland here. So let's try and add up some reverb. I'm just going to use the same one as before. 
to give it a little bit more ambient. There you go. Okay, I'm liking the sound of that one. And now you can hear how we're getting kind of a lot of background noise there. And a really good thing to add after this is, I'm sure they have one here. There we go, a noise gate. So a noise gate, you're just going to put it on the end here. And all you're going to do is bump this up until it takes away all your extra sound. And then when you play, you're still going to get all that tone, but then it's just going to silence it when you've got nothing playing so that you don't get all that extra noise. And I'm pretty happy with it. So then we've got this tone, you can see now with just a single click of a button we can go back to our other preset and we've got two entirely different guitars. And I don't have it layered on top of each other right now, but I'm betting if I recorded this background track and then my lead riff over top of it, or did some sort of solo on top of that, then we'd have two pretty cool sounding guitars. So you can see right there with just a very little bit of experimentation and playing around and a little bit of know-how, then you can get some really cool, interesting sounds on your guitar. You know, honestly, this is a ton of fun to play with and I could spend hours just playing around with all the different amps and effects and everything. Um, they all sound really good and it's really easy to get really good tones from them. So there's lots of stuff to experiment. You know, whether you're an acoustic player, you want your reverbs and some basic delays, or a ton of different options if you're an electric player, um, really the possibilities are endless here. All right, so really quickly, a few technical details. This is available on all platforms, Windows, Mac, Android, iPhone, which I just think is the coolest part of the app because you can use it on all your different devices. If you are using it on Windows or Mac, this is available both as a standalone application or as a VST for your DAW. If you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. If you do, just know that you can use it. I'm using it here in FL Studio, works no problems. If you are using it for your phone, you're gonna need one of these guys, which is a mobile audio interface. And basically it just lets you connect your guitar to your phone and run it through the app. If you do run into any technical difficulties, they do have lots of instructions on their website, which I'm gonna link in the description below this video. And you can always contact their support if you're running into more issues to get yourself set up. So this is ideal for amateur or pro guitarists who wanna get more into pedals and shaping their own sound. It's a really cheap way to try out and start experimenting with your own guitar tone. And a lot of people really never get too much into guitar tone, but the sound of your guitar is just as important as the notes you play. And shh, pro tip, it's actually the easiest way to sound better because it's the only way to make your guitar playing more interesting without actually physically getting any better at the guitar. So thank you to Deplight Guitar Effects for sponsoring this video. We love our sponsors here. They're what keeps these videos coming to you for free. So show them some love and go download their app for free in the description below this video. If you do decide that you wanna buy their pro subscription, then you can get 30% off their lifetime membership by using my special coupon code in the description of this video. So download that app for free in the description below this video. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're notified of my newest uploads right when I post them. Please hit that thumbs up button to show your support and let me know what you thought of this video in the comments below. I'm trying to do more videos on improving your technique and generally improving as a guitarist. So I wanna know what you guys think of these videos or if there's any other topics that you want me to cover. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.